So another question over here. Just hold the mic a little closer here. Yeah. Okay, and the second, second question? Second question. You mentioned something about candy diet now. Yes. yes. Okay, thank you very much. I'll answer those two questions. I'll just uh, kind of reiterate. Uh, she had indicated that she has a mother that's paralyzed and also the question with regards to candida. Um, I am not sure of the reason why her mother is paralyzed. However, um, I'll give you some examples. We have um, um, a gentleman, this was years ago, that got hit on the side of the head. Uh, he was working in construction and uh, it paralyzed him. He was a quadriplegic. And he was deteriorating and deteriorating. When we met him or he came into our office, um, it had happened several years before, but he was going down. He wasn't improving and he wasn't stabilizing. He was going down. When he began on aerobic oxygen, not only did his physical functions improve, in other words, he was able to move his arms and his limbs and get more stimulation into other organs, uh, but also his mental functions improved dramatically. Um, so we did have an improvement uh, in both areas, mental and physical. Um, we had another lady that had had stroke and she had, was paralyzed. She was a piano player and had not played the piano for probably 30 or 40 years. She was an elderly lady. And this is significant. This was important to us because she was always told and it was believed in the medical field that once you have damaged those type of nerves, those type of brain cells and nerves, they cannot be repaired or replenished. However, after taking aerobic oxygen for several months, she was able to begin playing the piano again to a certain degree. It wasn't dramatic, but it was certainly a dramatic increase from what she had. So people with seizures, for example, um, oftentimes seizures are caused, in fact in almost all cases, seizures are caused by a restriction of some type of oxygen into the brain. We've had very, very good results with those type of things, uh, seizures. The answer to the second question with regards to candida and yeast infection, uh, it can be used both externally and internally um, for candida. Candida is, a, 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 in, in North America particularly, I'm not sure how um, great of a disease it is, but North America, because of our lifestyles, our stress, our food, candida is, is, is on the rampage. Uh, yeast infections. Um, and aerobic oxygen has just been tremendous in that. I talked a little bit before about prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is very heavy in uh, America as well. Um, we probably have over a 90% success rate with aerobic oxygen in conjunction with other supplements for prostate cancer, for example. Bladder infection, these type of things, tremendous success.